Oh, it does. I didn't think it would happen to me. It happened to her, and if you're not careful, it can happen to you. In fact, it happened again Hello. Wednesday, this time at this store on Spall Road in Kelowna, where a driver slammed into a wall, punching a hole into the structure. Somehow, yes, her vehicle did end up into the building. Constable Lise Marion has seen her fair share of cars hitting buildings, and there's no question that age plays a part. Often when I see it, it's elderly drivers. Um, it happens more frequently, but I can't explain why. Daryl Greensand um, might have right, the answer. Uh, the driving so instructor says that as we get building, older, our driving thing, habits change with our uh, feet. So, sometimes what, what seniors will do is they'll use two feet for driving, push uh, left foot on the brake and, and right foot still on the gas, and they don't feel the gas pedal, so they'll still leave it on. Um, and they'll also apply the brake at the same time. So um, they... Uh, they just don't know that the, the gas is on. Greensand has experienced it firsthand. I actually asked a gentleman to, to pull in and park, and uh, we were heading right for the right for the building before I hit my brake. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and the reason was is he still had pressure on the gas pedal. He adds that one solution might be more testing and earlier. I think we need to get them tested more often. The, right now, uh, I believe it's eighty. Is, is when ICBC is trying to get seniors in for a retest, and I think it should be a lot sooner than that, you know, 70. But the finger-pointing can't stop at seniors. Earlier this week, a Surrey woman was killed by her own daughter after she accidentally hit the gas instead of the brake. The daughter was 36. Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.